What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at PC Linux OS, the full Monty. It's a KDE and uh, what we're going to look at is the actual live CD build of it. Okay, Now you can install this uh, but it's a bit of a hefty download. It's a 4 gigabyte download but if you've not used Linux before and you want to have trouble free uh, installation with all the programs already there then this is the one to go for. It is packed full of programs whether you're a gamer, whether you're uh, video editing or whether it's just uh, as a system then this is the one to go for. So what we're going to do is reboot the system um, into the live environment so you can have a look at it. It's awesome, it really is. So let's have a look at the actual uh, ISO and boot to that now. So I'm just going to quickly reboot the system okay so here we are at the menu what we're going to do here is going to go up to live CD and uh, boot to that okay so just let this load in we're going to choose a US keyboard here or UK whatever you want We'll just let this load up it does take a bit of time because it's a bit of a beast to uh, load okay so here we are at the desktop and this is the uh, first look that you're going to get okay so you can see down the bottom here we've got some numbers here one to six and these are going to be your desktop views okay okay so here we are at the full Monty desktop um, of internet and it's got six categories and six different internets believe it or not one called internet office games multimedia graphics and system and they've built all these up with all the programs pre-installed on there so you don't have to have the hassle of trying to do that yourself which must have took an absolute age to build um, but if you're a beginner in Linux and you want everything all done for you already then this is the one it is really awesome it really is give it a go so let's take a look at the internet side of things and see what it's got to offer. Well as you can see here it's got all your programs pre-installed for you. You've got Pigeon, uh, Skype, XChat, um, Dropbox, um, KTorrent and whatnot. Okay, And all you'd need to do is click on these uh, and these would open up. Now we are on a live CD so it may be a little bit slower. But there you go, we're straight off and running and you can now do torrents from here if you wanted to. You can open up your browser. All you need to do is click on these and again we're on a live CD here. And as you can see, pretty quick even on a live CD. And as I said, the list is endless full of programs. You've got all your browsers that you would need. So let's have a look at number two, Office. This is where you do all your office work. Maybe uh, you want to type up some letters or you know stuff like that and you can do all that from here ebook viewer as you can see Foxit reader it's just loads and loads of functionality to this uh, CD you know you've got this sort of stuff coming up all, already installed and we've also got loads more options down here believe you me there's tons of tons of programs in here so let's have a look at the game section again these are already loaded on the system and uh, you can see pretty much these games are installed already I'm not going to go through them all because there's just too many but basically you just click on these and up they come you want to flick over to your multimedia section so you just click on number four and you're on your multimedia and there's all your audio programs as you can see audacity karaoke not sure how quick they load up in a live CD but we'll soon see as you can see pretty fast and there's your audacity already installed you've got VLC here pretty much handbrake all the programs you'd need in multimedia let's have a look at graphics again graphics we've got paint programs also we've got you've got loads here GIMP Image Magic, Blender. Again, these are already installed and redone for you, so it saves you having to do it. And I'm just going to quickly look at system here. 
and again it's packed full of uh, useful programs so if you're a beginner and you want to get into Linux and have a little look then this wouldn't be a bad way to start uh, because it's already built for you and you could install this pretty simple okay or you can use it on a live environment so it may be a bit slow on a live environment unless you've got loads of uh, memory and stuff but let's have a look down the bottom here and uh, when you click on this button here this will give you all your applications and you can go through here and you can see there is quite a lot of different areas that you can go through and let's have a look at graphics and as you can see that there is just an absolute ton of graphics programs there okay internet again loads so you've got some on your desktop but you've also got loads more inside here okay that you can actually use so I'm pretty sure that if you can't find your program you want to use that's not here then there's something wrong because there is tons of programs here so we've got this goblet thing here and I think this is to get to computer applications contacts and documents this is more like your uh, menu here to get to your computer side of things as you can see nice smooth scrolling interface there and that's on the actual holy grail goblet sort of look thing there you can show your desktop and you just click on this and then you've also got your cabinets here file manager you have got your command prompt sort of window there and then you've got your uh, little functions down here I'm not sure what all these are. I haven't had a chance to play with this yet that's your internet part of uh, things there and you've also got your sound not sure what that is okay so I'm pretty sure that uh, that's just about it you got your trash can here and your system load and you can see there all your stats and you got your shutdown and your lock and I think that's going to be about that for this video so let me just shut this off and turn off this and shut this down so let's just load this back up to Windows here and that was running in a live CD there as you can see but if you wanted to install that into uh, an actual virtual box you could do that and I'll maybe make a video to share to do that it's pretty straightforward and easy to do okay so I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope it's helpful for you and I hope you liked it. Uh, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, hit that subscribe button guys and share your support by rating and favoriting all my videos. And I'll make you more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again. Bye for now.